Okay, the next muscle group we're going to stretch are our hamstrings. And again, we're going to do this in a couple of different ways. The first is uh, an MET lung, uh, done lying down. So if we want to use that right knee, so bend that right knee up for me. And we're going to grab both hands behind them and linking them together. And we can start with the knee in very positions, so very angles of the thigh. But we'll start initially with it going at 90 degrees straight upwards. And then slowly what we're going to do is keeping the upper leg fixed in that position. We're going to use our quads to straighten the knee. So if you slowly activate that. So you can see there the knee's getting straighter. And what that does, you'll get a great stretch coming down the back of the hamstring there. This is quite hard work on the quads. And then you're probably not going to hold it for as long as that 15 to 20 seconds. But you want to do probably 10 interval bursts of it, okay? Once you're happy with that position, you can then vary the length of the uh, hamstring. So you put it up towards your chest a little bit more. And keeping that, using the hands to keep it in that position, if you then straighten the leg again, again, it's much more difficult to get the stretch. But if you're already quite a flexible person, this can be quite useful. Okay, and release. Happy that. Okay, the next one, if you stand up, we're going to do a stretch for the hamstrings. The bed we've got here is probably slightly too high. You'd normally use a bed that's just above knee height. But what we're going to do is put our heel on towards the bed, or a chair, whatever we're going to do, and put it forward straight ahead. And you can probably see there the standing leg is still facing straight ahead, and that's really important. As soon as you turn those hips out to the side, you lose so much of the stretch. So what we've got here, we've got the knee locked out, the heel on the bed, and we're slightly going to pull the toes back. Now for most people, that's already going to be as plenty of a stretch as you'll need. If you want to increase the stretch though, what you do is keeping a nice straight back, you're going to lift your chin up and forwards. That's great. You can only, see, only move the chin a couple of inches, but it really does give a much better stretch. And we still see we've got a nice straight back, we're not folding forward into the hamstring stretch, keeping the back nice and neutral there. And again, this is our 15 to 20 seconds of the stretch. Just relax that.